Yeesh, man, my hair gets any more fucking curly frizzy, I'm gonna have to fucking get a red bandana and a Burger King cap. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. Anyway, Black Rifle Coffee. People have been learning lately just how few companies, period, have any principles. And we all know that liberals have no idea what corporate shilling is, that you know, MasterCard and all these other companies or oh, Pride Month this, BLM that. They don't actually care about you. They just want your money. Everything's always about money. Well, there's a lot of right-wing people that are going to need to learn this lesson is not wing-specific. It's universal. There is no for-profit company out there that gives a shit about you. Well, maybe some do. We'll get to that in a second. But very few. You can't trust anybody just because they say they're on your side, especially if what they say and what they do conflict heavily. Black Rifle Coffee is a supposedly pro-Second Amendment, patriotic, American-loving company. That is a lie. That is a lie. If you are somebody who goes, oh, just because veterans own this company, well, first of all, veterans don't necessarily sell, uh, support your principles. It's, it's a myth that all veterans are conservative Pro 2A, Pro 1A patriots. That's not true. A lot of people just show up to get a job. A lot of them are the same people who probably go out and march for Antifa and march for BLM. Uh, just because people are veteran aren't necessarily people who think like you, and just because there are some people who fought for this country, that's also debatable, given that most wars of the past 40 years have been corrupt wars for for oil barons and for on behalf of other countries like Israel, you know, there's not been anybody who's actually really fought for this country in a long ass time. Especially also keep in mind that most veterans are not combat veterans. A lot of them are, most of them are not. Okay. And you could say that anybody who has served has done something in support of the safety of this nation. That is true. But if you think they're necessarily good or moral or virtuous people or that they give a shit about you or your rights or their own rights, that's not necessarily the case. Now, Black Rifle uh, Coffee's problem isn't necessarily their political ideology. It's their principles. Black Rifle Coffee is lying when they say they're pro-Second Amendment. Black Rifle Coffee is lying when they say that they're pro-Constitution or pro-Civil Rights. That's not true. Now, Kyle Rittenhouse was finally bonded out of prison. Now, this guy, who is 100% innocent, plainly innocent, any layman can tell he's innocent, any person who's actually honest and knows the law knows that he's innocent. There is virtually nothing that he's violated, except for, I guess, handling a weapon in a certain state where you're not supposed to handle a weapon when you're 2017, or, or when you're age 17. People who say he transferred a gun across state lines are lying. He was using a weapon owned by somebody in the state of Wisconsin. It was registered and everything. People who say that he was not acting in self-defense are lying. That's plainly obvious on video. Now, keep in mind, the person who attempted to murder Kyle Rittenhouse, the one that survived attempting to murder him, I should say, is still free. Kyle Rittenhouse was just bonded out on $2 million bond, which means that somebody scrounged up $200,000 to free him from prison. Uh, only temporarily. And keep in mind, how many times have I told you the courts do not enforce the law? The courts are another political partisan um, wing of government. And they have demonstrated multiple, 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 multiple times that they will not fairly interpret the law. And if they feel like they want to make a political example of you and your entire life, they will do it. So he is uh, by no means home free just because he was bonded out while he's awaiting trial. Now, Black Rifle Coffee seems to have heard about a tweet that was posted on Twitter, which has since been deleted, where it was a picture of Kyle smiling, leaving jail with his family, and he's wearing a Black Rifle Coffee t-shirt. I imagine Kyle Rittenhouse used to be a supporter of Black Rifle Coffee because they are supposedly patriots, supposedly pro-Second Amendment, and pro-self-defense. All of which are, of course, lies. Black Rifle Coffee can never, ever be believed again because they have proven they're liars. Black Rifle Coffee, upon hearing this, also learned that part of the reason, perhaps, why this podcaster had put out 
I believe it was somebody affiliated with Blaze TV, but don't quote me on that. I'm not certain. But Black Rifle Coffee had heard about this because they actually sponsor the podcast in question that posted this picture of Kyle Rittenhouse in a Black Rifle t-shirt. You'd think, oh, this is all great press. There's a person who is, is, is being persecuted for using his rights to defend his very life. He was going to die if he wasn't able to defend himself. He's been persecuted and imprisoned for defending himself in a country where, and in the state, by the way, he did not violate Wisconsin state law or federal law in what he did at all. He's completely innocent, plainly innocent. Now, you would think that, yes, okay, so the podcast that is endorsed by Black Rifle Coffee sees a uh, a, a celebrity, a self-defense patriotic celebrity, wearing that t-shirt and thinks, oh, this is great, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this. Black Rifle Coffee issued a cease and desist demanding they take the tweet down. They issued a public statement saying they in no way, uh, they, di- they said specifically, actually, we disavow um, Kyle Rittenhouse, only they didn't use his name. This is how cowardly and dehumanizing Black Rifle Coffee is. They didn't use his name. They referred to him as that 17-year-old from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Can you fucking believe that shit? They wouldn't even say his name. They wouldn't even say his name. They wouldn't even say Kyle Rittenhouse's name. They demanded the tweet be taken down, and then they pulled their sponsorship from the podcast. That's who Black Rifle Coffee is. Never support them again. And always, if you feel like you want to be political with your dollar, be aware that all corporations lie. The only thing they actually care about is money. And you'd think, just because somebody's a small, grassroots, supposedly political, politically active um, group, and I'm sure Black Rifle Coffee probably does and probably will con- continue to maybe donate some portion of their profits or something, I forget exactly what they do, but keep in mind that if some liberal fuckers who would never, ever, if you put a gun to their head probably, ironically, would never ever buy Black Rifle Coffee because it's obviously... Right-wing, pro-Second Amendment, patriotic, America-loving coffee, supposedly. They'd never buy it. But because because these people cried out in outroar because of this picture of Kyle Rittenhouse, whatever corporate investors... Because keep in mind, Black Rifle Coffee is big enough that probably part of the way they run and grow is that they have investors. And their investors told them, throw this kid under the bus. Now, did Black Rifle Coffee stand on their supposed principles or did they do something cowardly and stupid because they thought it would hurt their market share or were they told by their corporate banker fucking overlords to do what they did? Probably they're not stupid. Probably they knew that this would be the dumbest fucking decision ever. But keep in mind, there's thousands and thousands of people canceling subscriptions to Black Rifle Coffee. But uh, you bet your money that those supposedly good old boys who supposedly love you and love America and love the armed services and love Second Amendment and the right to self-defense, you think they sat down and went, do you think we'll lose more money because thousands and thousands of our customers will reject us and indeed tell other people to boycott us for what we are doing? Or will we lose more money because some fucking investor will pull out from under us. Well, apparently they thought losing the investor mattered more. That's what you're dealing with. And that's what you're always dealing with. No corporation likes you. No corporation loves you. And no corporation will ever put you before their financial interests. Except for maybe one. Here's a sponsor. Uh, here's somebody I'm going to endorse, J- Jack Free. And by the way, they didn't ask me to do it. I'm not affiliated with them. And if for some reason I caused them any bad press, never spoken to this company, don't know this company. This company has no financial ties to me whatsoever or contractual ties to me whatsoever or any personal ties to me whatsoever. But I'm going to say it anyways. One of the ways that, that they were able to, to get the money together to bond Kyle Rittenhouse out of prison is because the My Pillow guy, the the owner uh, or the CEO of the company My Pillow, which I've seen advertising for on YouTube, it's a real product. It's some special, specially designed pillow that's good for neck pain and shit. Contributed a significant amount of money to bond Kyle Rittenhouse at a prison. If you believe in the Second Amendment, if you believe in 
the right to self-defense, if you believe in justice and your human rights as a citizen of the United States, I recommend you buy a my pillow and tell Black Rifle Co- uh, Coffee to go suck a fucking dick. Motherfucking scum fucks. <laughs>